Well, greetings once again, my friends and my fellow lovers of the SS United States. With today is the last day. Today is officially September 12th, 2024. And according to the court mandate order, the SS United States is supposed to vacate as of today. When you go to the ssusc.org conservancy website, you can scroll down to where it says latest news from the conservancy. On the left hand side, you'll see dated September 12, 2024. The headline states, owners of America's flagship file motion detailing landlord's efforts to block relocation of the SS United States, take possession of the historic vessel for its own financial benefit. And you can go down to where it says read more and you're taken to the story. Pier operator Penn Warehousing and Distributing attempted to extort $3 million from the Conservancy and thwart compliance with the court order. This is from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. The national nonprofit organization that owns the historic SS United States filed an urgent motion in the U.S. District Court for Eastern Pennsylvania, continuing new evidence that the iconic vessel's landlord, Penn Warehousing and Distribution, engaged in a rank of misconduct to block the Conservancy's effort to comply with the court order regarding relocating the SS United States from her current pier and advance a scheme to seize America's flagship for its own financial benefit. The SS United States Conservancy, just hours before a court-imposed deadline for the removal of the ship at Pier 82 in Philadelphia, stated in court papers that Penn Warehousing demanded $3 million from the Conservancy and from a potential purchaser of the ship, Florida's Okaloosa County. The Conservancy alleges that Penn Warehousing blocked a contract for the sale of the SS United States and attempted to negotiate its own sale of the vessel, even though they did not own it. In conjunction with the motions filing the U.S. District Court, Conservancy released the following statements. We've been dealing with the impacts of Penn Warehousing's underhanded tactics for some time but the revelation that they attempted to negotiate the sale of the ship without our knowledge or authorization is upsetting. It is more proof that Penn Warehousing was engaged in a deliberate pattern of behavior intended to force the Conservancy's default and seize the SS United States so that they can sell the historic ship for their own financial gain. At trial, Penn Warehousing admitted to doubling the ship's rent in a deliberate attempt to force the vessel off the pier. Now it appears they've been attempting to circumvent the court's most recent order by using range of tactics to prevent the Conservancy from making any alternative arrangements with willing partners and seize the ship. This behavior has included making unfounded claims of pier damage allegedly caused by the historic vessel, attempting to take punitive financial measures against the Conservancy, and scuttling a purchase and sale agreement that would have fulfilled the court's order. We have laid out our case in court filings, and we hope that the justice will prevail. Conservancy President Susan Gibbs, granddaughter of the ship's designer, William Francis Gibbs, stated, after decades of paying our pier rent in full, one-time pier operator Penn Warehousing has brought us to the brink of losing the SS United States, an inspiring expression of her namesake, nation strength, unity, and pride. Last month, the SS United States Conservancy committed in court to securing a firm contract to move the ship from the pier by the September 12th deadline. However, to our shock and surprise, Penn Warehousing blocked our plans. Since acquiring the SS United States over a decade ago, the Conservancy has worked tirelessly and against long odds to find a new home for America's flagship and to preserve and celebrate its extraordinary legacy. As we navigate the latest challenge and try to resolve the current impasse, we remain profoundly grateful to the SS United States supporters from across the nation and across the world. You can also see copies or motions of court documents. You can see a copy of Rule 60B, the motion filed by the SS United States Conservancy. So in conclusion, 
It says, for the foregoing reasons, the Conservancy respectfully requests that the court grant this motion to relieve the Conservancy from the court's June 14, 2024 order and enter an order extending the deadline by which the ship must be removed until December 5th of 2024. It's dated September 11th of 2024, respectfully submitted by Scott E. Wardell. The other document that you're able to see is you can click here to view a copy of the declaration by Susan Gibbs. You can also click here to view a copy of the affidavit, the affidavit by Craig Coffey. Now, the affidavit by Craig Coffey is the state of Florida, county of Okaloosa, sworn or affirmed as submitted before it made by the means of physical presence or online motorization on the ninth day of September 2024. And you can see it's signed by the Notary Republic. So then he goes on to say about the SS United States Conservancy, a national nonprofit organization, the SS United States Conservancy leads a global effort to serve and repurpose America's flagship, the SS United States. The Conservancy raises public awareness and financial resources for the maintenance and preservation of the iconic vessel and her legacy. For more information on the SS United States, the Conservancy, and the ship, visit ssusc.org or the Conservancy's Facebook page. So this wasn't an update from the Conservancy that I received in an email like I've been um, sharing with you guys. This was a statement that was on their website as of today, September 12, 2024. Uh, and like I said, today is the deadline. So if there are any, any more news at all on this wonderful ship, I'll pass it along to you as soon as I find it or am sent it. So my friends, thank you for watching. Until my next video, I'll talk to you soon.